today we're going to talk about another major component of the Portland Milwaukee Light Rail Bridge, concrete. And to walk us through that concrete jungle is Frank King, the technical sales manager for Ross Island Sand and Gravel, the local Portland supplier for all the concrete for this project. Welcome, Frank. Hello. So I want to ask a few basic questions about concrete, and then I want to talk a little bit about some of the big pours that you guys have been a part of. Okay. First off, what is the difference between cement and concrete? Well, cement is the uh, glue that keeps the concrete together. So how do you make concrete then? What are all the different components? And then once it's made, how long do you have once it's in these big yellow trucks to where you get it to the job site and it needs to be poured? Okay, to make concrete, you need cement, water and sand and rock, plus chemicals if you need it. Um, after the water is introduced to the cement, we got 90 minutes to get it off our trucks. 90 minutes, okay. And I know on our project, you weren't always able to get your trucks right next to where you needed to pour the concrete. So you use a piece of equipment called a pump truck. Can you explain a little bit about the pump truck and how it gets the concrete up that long arm to where you need to place the concrete? Yeah, it's a pump mounted on the back of a truck and they use a hydraulic uh, pistons that suck the concrete out of the hopper and forces up through the pump boom. Huh, all right. So I know that concrete has been placed in the west tower um, drilled shafts mm -hmm. and then the pile cap and together th that makes one of our foundations right. for the bridge. And then currently we're placing concrete in the pylons or the mm -hmm. tower legs for the west tower. So. Um, I want to talk, I guess, a little bit about the pile cap pour. That was, my understanding, 1,720 cubic yards of concrete. That's a lot of concrete. Yes, it is. So how long is a pour like that? How many trucks? How frequently do they come? Help us understand that. Okay, that pour was scheduled for 20 hours. It took uh, 170 loads of concrete, and the trucks are arriving anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes apart. And my understanding is it needs to be a continuous pour. Yes. Once you start you got to keep going till every yes. last drop is in. Okay, yes. so we'll be placing concrete all the way up the towers and in the uh, the deck and everything. Mm -hmm. So you guys will be part of the team for several more years. Oh yes, we will. Excellent. So I'm sure we'll see you again. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. All right, that's all we have time for today on Bridgeview. See you next time.